AD versus AP Katarina video on the PVE with her buffs. If you guys don't know what the buffs are, I think they gave 5% more damage to her passive. And her buffs on her ulti is about her bonus AD plus the bonus attack speed, which that got buffed. So it's basically saying attack speed or AD Katarina is better. And so as you can see, this is the build you'd probably go if you went on hit, which will try a variation of an AD Katarina build where we'll go Divine Thunder. So, oops. So this is this one is going to be 80 armor, armor and MR. This one's going to be 5,000 hit point and 100 armor and MR. This one's going to be 10,000. Uh, maybe it's your Scion, Cho'Gath. I don't really know. So here is just your ulti. Which does 5,713 damage. Um, Conqueror also. These are the runes we'd be running. Obviously, you'd have some different runes for the secondary, but that's okay. As you can see, 2,500 one-shot hair. Uh, did decent damage to him and did 7,000 damage to the tank, which is funny, but also, yeah, it's pretty interesting, right? And then let's just say, I don't know, let's just say you do a full combo on the big one. I don't know, you're going against Cho'Gath, right? So your dagger is kind of useless, but they do proc on hit effects, right? So that's pretty cool. And I actually think, and some people have been saying, okay, but you probably won't get your ulti to do like 7,000 damage in a team fight, right? Like, you're not going to be ulting for 2.5 seconds. That is true, but all you need is one second to do one third of this, one third of this, and you're already dealing like 1,000 to 2,000 damage with your ulti, which is pretty insane if you think about it. So, yeah, it's not even including the on hit damage from Witsand, Blade of Rune King, Kraken Slayer, even Goonzus. So, let's go switch to the AP build. So, if we just ult, we literally just ult. The squishy gets melted pretty hard. 4,000 damage, 4,000 damage to this one, and 2,400 damage to the tank. So you can see, looks like on hit is better against tanks because of Blade Rune King. And our ulti does about 3,000 damage, not including Nasher's Tooth. That's pretty cool. So the full combo looks like this. You can see that your daggers deal 1,000 damage each. But as Cat Evolve once said, anyone who walks at a dagger is an idiot. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyone in Challenger probably won't walk on a dagger. So you can see the on-hit build relies more on just your ulti, your E, and all that stuff. And then if we go to Divine Sunder build, so what, maybe something like this. So if you're doing Sunder build, I don't know, maybe this is the other on hit build you can go. Titanic, the tanky one, looks like like this. Um, total EPS on Swishies is also a little bit stronger on the tank, just half a hit point, and the full combo. There's probably one auto I did miss, so forgive me. Which is kind of interesting um so it looks like obviously you know like in a team fight you won't get your ulti off in a full team fight but yeah and then if you do literally get rid of the boots and just go for all both of them like just a six item build looks something like this oh well, my ult does 7120 damage for some reason Then this one just got shredded super hard. And of course, you can auto after too. So, that's pretty cool. Let's go to the AP build. So AP does deal a lot of damage. Thanks to Nasher's Tooth. And your daggers will do a lot more. So, I don't know. It's up to you guys. I guess if you, uh, you need AD, on hit is the way to go. And you need AP. You can go AP. So you have both versatile builds to go. And I probably would go Divine Sunder on Katarina to proc on hit effects, which would be very nice. So, you know, maybe not Kraken. It's pretty more a glass plan if you go Kraken. So, yeah, I'd probably go Divine Sunder. Now, this is going to be a different one. Uh, this time, you know, it's just for fun. Zero armor, MR, right? They get super shredded. I guess Blade Rune King's doing a lot. So, that's pretty cool. But then let's add armor and MR. And funny enough, there are actually procs, um, 
You are actually proc lethal tempo, which is really weird. But yeah, your ult is like 7,000 damage, which is pretty insane, right? So then full combo. This is a decent amount of damage. So that's pretty cool. And then, yeah, I guess that's the, that's the big difference. I'm going to do a full AD just for fun. No on hit, maybe just AD and attack speed. Actually, we'll just do all, uh, all AD, right? So. Ta-da. That is, uh, yeah, whatever this build is, this is super weak on tanks, as you can see. But still does a decent amount of damage, right? 7,000? Actually, that's still a lot. Well, pretty interesting enough. Pretty interesting. So this is a decent amount of damage, so <laughs> we picked basically all the AD items with no on hit, just the wits end because it gives basically on hit, or sorry, it gives both attack damage and attack speed, so it helps. Um, so yeah, I think the on hit build probably might be better, but uh, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.